don't get punched in the face for thinking I'm just a YouTuber. This what a BMG niggas do. They get big racks, you feel me? You already know BMG got this city hot. And that's a fact. You got the city hot. Foul. Don't fuck around. What's good, Stella? It's your boy, Class, and you are now tuning into the Rose Reaction channel on the tube. I need everyone to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you're notified every time I drop a new video. Today, I'm going to be reacting to your boy, MV Kane intro. But before we get into the video let's get into the song of the day turn a crib into a trap this ain't full house pocket full of racks don't make me pull them out yo bitch on my back she wanna sum me now if she pick this package up i might just put it down money dancing with no rats michael jackson all these horses in my engine better strap in yes and how i got to these bands bitch i'm tapped in don't give a fuck about none of the questions the cops be asking Okay, so now that you saw the song of the day, if you like it, the link will be in the description. Click the link, go show them a little bit of support, comment in the comment section, and let them know BMG sent you. So without further ado, let's get straight into the reaction, see what he got to say. Nah, he trying to show y'all that he can hit niggas with different flows. Like, he's really trying to show the versatility. Like, he just hit niggas with the quick twist of flow real quick. Well, obviously, I know somebody's going to be, like, super a literal in the comment section. Like, twist the raps faster than that. But, like, nigga, stop being trying to be literal, bro. Like, you get the gist of what I'm trying to say. But, like, that's what's up, though. Like, you know, he's he showing niggas that he, he got different flows and he just... You know what I mean? Not on that same thing all the time. So I gave attention to everybody get next to me. I'm not gonna get annoyed. They're gonna shit to sleep whenever they try to cross me. He said, I'm gonna tell him that I need a lawyer and go straight to sleep when they try to question me. See, he, he talking to niggas, you feel me? He, was, he said he was incarcerated, so he started late. You feel me? Like, a lot of niggas was doing their thing with the music while he was locked up. So now he said, uh, he gonna come home and surpass niggas, you feel what I'm saying? All the niggas that was in front of him when he was locked up and shit, whoever had their time before, he about to come back and pass niggas, is he saying? <laughs> They blackball me for all the things. You feel me? Like, they blackball him. He's saying, like, niggas, I mean, niggas shine a light on all the darkness you did. You feel me? But whenever you do good, they don't shine no light on this shit. You feel what I'm saying? It be, it, that is really true, too, you know? Because it's almost like when you're in the media or you you a public figure for everybody to, to put an opinion on, niggas really, like, bash you when when you make a mistake like you you're supposed to be perfect anytime you're a person in the media everyone feels like you're supposed to be perfect you can't make no mistakes if you make a mistake they jumping down your neck with it you feel me like no nobody that's known or popular should make mistakes and i don't even understand that shit like these people be so sensitive nowadays <laughs> Nigga said I woke up in cold sweats, had a bad dream, started grabbing the strap. I was still rapping, but I had to relax. 
You see, like he robbed me. That's his thing. I told you. You see what he just said? Take it if you Hmm, bring that back. That was that right, right there was some real shit. You feel me? All that beef shit is some hot shit. Nobody dies, so stop it. Like real nigga shit. Like, alright. I really I really agree with that bar just, just off the simple fact that a lot of niggas beef on the internet and make everything hot and obvious. If you wasn't on the internet doing all this back and forth, nobody would know you had beef with such and such, right? And the whole part of being in the streets is for nobody to know what you're doing or your business or the police especially knowing, yo, you got beef with this person or got beef with that person. That's the last thing you want to do in the street. And a lot of you niggas make it hot on the internet. It's almost like y'all trying to live, leave cookie crumbs for the police to trail back to whoever did whatever they did to you. Like a lot of y'all niggas beef on the internet and put everything out there. You feel me? And certain niggas die, but they don't die because you you or your team killed them. So it might be somebody else that killed a nigga and now you're on the internet talking about, oh, smoking on this pack, smoking on that pack. And in all actuality, niggas have nothing to do with that shit. You feel me? This shit is it's just hot shit. You know what I mean? Like I don't I don't I don't agree with these niggas that do that type of shit. Especially these niggas that try to paint the picture that they so street. Like you put every single beef you have on the internet. Like every single beef. Like, you know what I mean? Like that shit is just stupid. See, like with me, all these little coward niggas that be arguing and shit, I don't consider those niggas as niggas that I beef with. Cause these are people that nine times out of ten, I won't even see them. You feel what I'm saying? These niggas just like arguing. You know what I mean? I wouldn't even see them. So that's why I wouldn't even count those type of those type of in in interactions and shit. This shit, it's, it don't even matter because this shit is irrelevant. It's just nigga want to talk so he can get some views on the net. You feel me? <laughs> That's a fact, you heard what he said? When the truth come out, it's gonna get around. That's a fact. That's another thing with a lot of y'all niggas. Y'all cap so much for social media and y'all lie so much. The truth gonna come out and it's gonna get around, bro. A lot of you niggas chat all this fraudulent shit, bro. The truth gonna come out and it's gonna get around, bro. You feel me? I can't, some of you niggas, bro. Y'all niggas, y'all careers won't go nowhere just because it's all based on cap. You feel what I'm saying? So y'all niggas keep capping and the truth go come out. Your ass gonna be fucked, you heard? I mean, this song, this song was kind of short, you feel me? It ain't, he said some real ass shit in there, but it ain't that long, you know what I mean, to, to give it. A high, a high rating. I could give it a decent race rating based on what he's saying, but he didn't really have that much in there. The song is 151, a minute and 51 seconds. Nine times out of ten, he probably only rapped for a good minute and 15, 20 seconds because some of it was the intro and some of it was the outro. You feel me? But for the rating for this shit, though, I get a shit at seven point nine. I give it a 7.9. Feel me? I heard better shit from him. Y'all comment in the comment section below. Let me know if y'all feel like I rated it too high or I rated it too low. It's your boy, class. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and the bell notification so you're notified every time I drop a new video. <clears throat> Bow. If you're not subscribed to Stella Gang yet, what you waiting for? Come on, join the squad, man. Stella Gang got the city hot. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so you notified every time I drop a new video, man. BMG got the city hot. Y'all niggas know what's going on, man.